guys, welcome to the Everett Silver Show. We have excited guests as we do every week. And so I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm always bringing it to you. So thanks so much for staying in tune with us. Stay connected. You're watching the Everett Silver Show. Good morning. Dr. Pye, uh, Dr. Flower, and also Rain, thank you guys so much for doing the show. Uh, what a pleasure to have you, and thank you again. Thank you. Well, folks, when you think in terms of experience, this, mir you know, the miracles and, the, you know, the mysteries inside Animal Lovers, Favorite Thing Park, National Geographic's Magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom, I have the stars, uh, Dr. Jeff Pye, also Dr. Jen Flower, and also Rain Westgard about this 10-episode uh, uh, series that National Geographic is going to showcase, you know, about the animals of Magic Kingdom and their kind-hearted, you know, expert caretakers. And I, and I guess I start with you, Dr. Pye, when you think in terms of, you know, uh, a lot of people don't realize how much work is being put in there. I know you are the uh, Disney Animal Science and Environment uh, Health Director. Talk about your role. Yeah, so I lead both our animal health and animal nutrition teams uh, for all the animals here at Walt Disney World. And so um, that's a lot of diversity, about 300 species, around 5,000 animals, ranging from tiny little frogs to great big elephants. Uh, we, but we also have horses here that we take care of. Um, and this show really gives us an opportunity um, to share the passion that we have for our animals here it gives our audience that kind of backstage pass to what we do so they get to see behind the scenes and really appreciate everything that we do that uh, is needed to take care of the animals on, on a on a daily basis you know being a parent i remember you know i, I love like nemo and all those things and you know uh, i mean just the animation and stuff but you're talking about real animals and with that being said dr flowers you're the veterinary clinical veterinarian uh, did you ever see uh, just trying to keep the welfare of the animals themselves and the health? How difficult is that? Yeah, our number one priority here is the um, maintaining the highest standards of animal care and welfare. And in season two of Magic of Disease Animal Kingdom, you guys will get to see just that. All the steps we take every single day to ensure these animals are cared for properly and thrive here at Disney's Animal Kingdom and the seas with Nemo and friends at Epcot and how they are able to really act as ambassadors for their species and inspire the future generations to inspire children and families and adults alike to care for animals and care for the planet and want to contribute to conservation. Um, Rain, when we think in terms of your interaction, because I know you're the animal keeper, uh, uh, the behavior, though, of animals, uh, anything even shocked you how much they can relate to each other as well as, as us? You know, it's amazing when you really get to have that time to know these animals as an individual, you can see what they like and what they don't like and how much alike they really are to all of us. Um, I think the show really provides that opportunity for myself as a keeper uh, to make those connections so people can really get to know these animals and get excited about the things that they're accomplishing and worry about them if there's something that's not so quite the right way. And um, it's really an awesome opportunity to be able to share that. Now, uh, uh, now Dr. Pye, I know you're, you're making a difference for animals. I mean, the thing in terms of their care through you know, a robust animal welfare program. Talk about the, how you do that. Yeah, so we work as a kind of a coordinated team. If you think about all the different roles that we have here uh, at Walt Disney World. So, you know, represented today is uh, two veterinarians and one of our animal keepers, but our animal nutritionist, uh, we have veterinary technicians, hospital keepers, we have scientists, we have conservationists. Um, and all those folks are working as a coordinated team. 
Um, and so as an example, you know, Rain is looking at the animals that she has under her care every day. Um, and she spends uh, eight, nine, ten hours with those animals every day. And so she has the opportunity to watch for behaviors and things like that. She might notice uh, a little bit of a, a change there. Um, and then she'll let us as veterinarians uh, know that. And so we can intervene if need be. Um, she'll pair with our nutritionist and, and they'll, uh, you know, compare weights to body condition. Uh, make sure that they have the opportunity to get all the nutrition that they need. Um, Rain may provide uh, enriching things uh, throughout the day for, for our animals. And all that coordinated effort is to go into to just to ensure that the animals under our care here have that opportunity to thrive in their welfare uh, every day. Um, and one of the cool things is that you'll get to see that in season two of Magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom. We, as I said earlier, we kind of peel back the curtain um, and let everybody uh, see what it takes every day to make sure that those animals have the opportunity to thrive here. Well, I got to tell you guys, I've seen some of the uh, the trailers, and I tell you, I don't know how how you do it. And I know Jen, you're passionate about providing. You you talk about 300 species over five. I mean, about 5,000 animals. I don't know how you, you know. I mean, it's it's got to be your love for. It. Where, where's that drive come from, Dr. Flowers? Yeah, it really is uh, just a passion for these animals and a love for the animals that that gets us through each day and and drives us to to continue doing what we do. And it's it's really incredible in Magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom. You guys are going to be able to see that. You're going to watch these stories of these animals, and you're gonna yeah. you're gonna be right there with us and experience what we experience every day. And we really think the viewers yeah. will love it. Yeah, I tell you, it's going to amaze. And then, Rain, I know uh, when you think in terms of the physical, mental, emotional, you know, well-being of these animals, you with them all the time. Uh, uh, have you uh, have anything ever scared you, though? And I end with that. <laughs> has anything ever scared me? Well, I will have to say that there are always <laughs> unexpected things that happen. Um, it's one of the things that makes right. the job very, very exciting. <laughs> uh, some days more so than others. <laughs> but, but really... I know that I have an army of people supporting me, so I really don't have a lot of fear. No matter what happens or unfolds in front of me, we got this covered. It's all good. Good, good answer, Rain. I know you. I know you're good at. <laughs> now, for all you guys do, I, I appreciate. Want to let everybody know again that the Magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom new series premieres uh, with back-to-back -back episodes Sunday, January the first at 8 p.m. The National Geographic, also National uh, Geographic Wild, I believe. All episodes are also streaming as well January the fourth on Disney Plus. Again, what a privilege. An honor to have uh, Dr. Jeff Pye, Dr. Jen Flower, and also Rain Westgar. Thank you, guys, and I appreciate you doing the show today. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, guys, uh, thanks so much for tuning into the Everett Silver Show. Stay tuned. Don't turn that dial because we got more exciting guests right here on the Everett Silver Show. Be back in a moment. Hi, Everett. This is Neil. Neil, thank you so much for doing the show. What a pleasure to have you. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Such a pleasure. Well, folks, um, Kai, I'm going to talk about this inspiring comeback story. Uh, this documentary illustrates kind of the power of the human will. I have award-winning documentarian, and as well as a triathlete. Uh, Neil Myers is here to kind of discuss the healing journey. And so with that being said, Neil, tell us, you know, why you decided to do this documentary. Absolutely, Everett. So you have to understand first what the journey was. I, um, as you mentioned, I was a triathlete. I was training in Santa Barbara on a very steep mountain road. It's Gibraltar Road. Um, I had finished my training. I was on my way home, and I was just racing down the hill. I rounded a blind curve, and there was a truck right in my lane coming right back at me. I had no time to react, hit it head on, went all the way through the windshield. In the process, I broke 16 bones in 26 places. I collapsed both lungs, bruised my heart, and had a uh, massive concussion and brain bleed. And that was just two-tenths into the two-tenths of a second into the journey. From there, I was in ICU for three days, hospital for the better part of a month. 
uh, walking after two months intensive rehab for four. Then I got back to my bike and I started training for the Santa Barbara try, which is a very tough try that was held one year after I got out of the hospital, just because that's the only way I knew I could get all the way back. Wow. Now, now talk about Neil then. With that being said, what was probably the hardest part of your journey? Uh, good question. And I think it's a little surprising. It's, it's patience. It's more than anything. Uh, mm. In an accident this severe, it takes a long time for bone, muscle, everything to heal, to get your strength back, your endurance back, your speed. And it was hard for me. Uh, I didn't mind doing the work, but it was hard that it took so long. I remember my nurse on the last day in the hospital came by and said, Neil, you healed, you survived, you're going to make it back, I promise you, but not every day is going to be a step forward. Some will be a step back, and keep the faith up. M and my advice to you is expect the best every day, but accept the rest. And um, I, I choke up every time I think about that because it's such good advice. And then, Neil, uh, when you think in terms of um – I guess, you know, people in the community, uh, you know, that has probably in your life, maybe how have they impacted your recovery? Talk about that. You bet. So there's really three uh, aspects to that. First was my family. My wife was at the hospital almost instantly and stayed by my side for the entire time. And my entire recovery, she was my wingman, um, as was my family. But then there were the uh, caregivers. And there were 70 people that worked on me just in the first night alone. By the time I got back to the race, 300 people had helped me. And then the community and my friends, the, the outpouring of love and support. Honestly, Everett, I don't know how I could have healed with all, all that support. Wow, that is so, that is so that's, that's amazing. And then how are you feeling today, uh, Neil? You know, I feel amazing. I'm 100% healed. I, I think that's a surprise for some people because – I had a lot to heal from, but it's a testament to the body's ability to heal itself, honestly. Yeah, that is, that's something. Now, tell us where, uh, how can people view this wonderful documentary? Where, where can we go? And then, uh, you know, what do you expect or, or hope that viewers gain, just gain from this, this wonderful story? Sure, thank you. Uh, easiest thing is go to our website. That's climbdoc.org, C-L-I-M-B-D-O-C dot O-R-G. And everything's there. You can watch the trailer. You can read reviews. Uh, you can uh, rent it, buy it. Everything's there. In terms of what I hope people get out of it, a as a filmmaker, I hope people are entertained. I'll tell you, Everett, what I hear the most from people who watch it is that they're inspired. I think we're all on a yeah. journey, all of us. And that next step is sometimes hard. We get locked. When you see somebody that's been beaten down so much and yet over a long journey gets all the way back, I think it's inspiring. It, it, it means you can do it, too. Well, I tell you, uh, Neil, I had a chance to see some of the stuff up, you know, you know, a little ahead of time. But I tell you how I'm inspired I, I am just to, you know, just to be thankful every day. But Neil Myers, guys, um, you know, you got to make sure climb this this inspiring comeback story. Uh, go to, again, climbdoc.org for further information. Climb Myers, uh, who is this award-winning documentary uh, documentarian and also this triathlete kind of discusses his journey. Neil Myers, thanks for doing the show. Thank you, Everett. I really appreciate your time. Uh, you're welcome. Bye -bye. More guests coming your way. Don't touch that dial. I'll be back in a moment. Christina, Hi. thanks for doing the show. Oh, well, thanks for having me. Well, what a pleasure. Well, folks, you're talking about holiday season, who we need to turn to, to YouTube, because there's money-saving uh, DIY gift ideas. Well, I have YouTube creator Christina uh, Warner is here with us. And with that being said, Christina, we got to talk about, you know, rising costs and things that are happening now. Uh, and then when I look at the reason why, you know, 93% of users kind of report using you know, YouTube gathering information, that's just why, right? Yeah, I, I mean, if you're like me, I'm going to YouTube to find answers for putting a, a battery in my watch, to fix in my car. <laughs> but, <laughs> or, there's an answer for everything at YouTube, yeah. So talk about uh, what are some of the, I guess, uh, these gift ideas that we need to just look at. 
Sure. There's a lot of things that you can create right at home with things you probably have in your house around this time of year. Um, if you're like me, you've got gift wrap ready for wrapping all those presents. Well, I've got a really great gift card holder that you can make using gift wrapping. So you just fold it up and you can put your gift card right inside, maybe pair it with a present under the tree. Um, there's also really great really simple handmade card ideas as well. I've got a watercolor card that was painted using children's watercolors. So really inexpensive to start out with. And all you need is watercolor paper. And I mean, I used a Crayola watercolor set for this. So there's a lot of really fun things you can do just using like children's art supplies as well. Now, Christina, when I hear you talk, I, I, I thought about your background a little bit. You, you know, you have a BA in graphic design. And any, anything we think in terms of K Warner designs, is these where some of these great ideas are coming from? <laughs> yeah, well, I've, I've been doing the uh, handmade cards since I got out of college. I was hired by a, a scrapbooking company and I was designing their catalog. I wasn't making anything for them. But when I saw all the fun, creative things that people were making with their hands, I had to start doing it too. So it was, it was a pretty quick transition to making those handmade cards at home. And then from there, I, I went to YouTube because, you know, people were asking me online, how do you do that? How did you make that card? And YouTube was a little tiny website at the time. It wasn't as big as it is now, and but it did offer free video hosting. So I started sharing exactly how I made these cards on YouTube. It was a really easy transition to just share online. And um, now it's grown in such a way that I'm just one of nearly half a million YouTubers who count this as our full-time job. I feel really, really lucky that it's come to that point as well. Well, I got to tell you, when you think in terms of, uh, Christina, YouTube contributing the contributions of $25 billion to U.S. GDP in 2021, I mean, that's, that's incredible, astounding numbers. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, and it's really provided kind of this new outlet for creative entrepreneurs and individuals like myself to really showcase and share what we're creating at home with millions of other people online. It's a great way to connect with community, and um, like you were saying earlier, people go to YouTube to figure out how to do things, and so yeah. people like me who know how to do them already, we just want to share, and we want to let people know how to do and create those things. And Christina, you kind of mentioned it a little bit, but you're known for your card videos as well. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing card videos since 2007 and I love creating handmade cards. Um, I also work in the, the crafting industry. I'm a designer myself. So I mm -hmm. love to uh, design the products and then show people how to use them as well. Well, you got to know uh, you, you are our heart saving to a lot of us, not only just saving money, but just causing us how to be more creative. Any last minute things, Christina, you want to say, because people are continuing going to go to this season, YouTube, any last minute things you want to say? Sure. Head on over to YouTube. Um, they have a great search engine and a search feature at YouTube. You can find anything under the sun. Some great search terms to use would be handmade or homemade. Um, DIY gift ideas is a term that peaks every December. So that's a that's a term you could use. And also check out my channel. I'm at K Werner Design, and I'd love to have you come over and see some of the cards I'm making. What a privilege to have Christina Werner. K Werner Designs, where you want to go. YouTube creator, and also saving us some money with these DIY gift ideas. And what a privilege and happy holidays to you, Christina. And thanks for doing the show. More guests Thank coming you, your way. Don't touch that dial. I'll be back in a moment. Hey, Hi, Trish. Everett. How are you today? Doing wonderful. Always a pleasure having the show. Well, folks, I got my guests with us. When you're talking about those last-minute shopping, well, I got Trisha uh, Hertzberger is here with us. And uh, Trisha, with that being said, I know you got some wonderful ideas for us. How we, I guess, you know, make sure that we're getting the best price. Yeah, I got you, Everett. And to everyone listening, I mean, this holiday season, I feel like it's all about shopping smart and saving more. 
Did you know that you can automatically discover coupons and find cashback deals when you're shopping online using the PayPal Honey oh, wow. browser extensions? They have both mobile and desktop browser extensions that you can download for free, which will search for any available coupons and apply the best ones at checkout. Now, their drop list feature lets you add items you're interested in to a watch list and get automatically notified if the price drops so that you can buy it at a lower price. Who doesn't love saving money? Right, Everett? Are you on the PayPal Honey Browser extension train already? Yeah, you know I am. Yes, yes, I love to see it. All right, so how about some gift ideas? What about giving the gift of peace of mind this year? The Ring Indoor Cam is a compact camera that gives you access to quickly check what's happening inside your home from anywhere. It's small with easy plug-in installation, providing HD video, two-way talk, and motion-activated notifications. You could, say, put one in the living room to watch over your pets and another one in the entryway to see who comes and goes. And you can link the camera to your other Ring devices in their app to create a smarter, more secure home. Available for $49.99 on Ring.com and Amazon. Now, Everett, how many people on your list this year are asking for like big ticket tech items, laptops, tablets? Do you have a lot of those? A lot of them. A lot, right? I feel like that's what it's on everyone's wish list. Well, <laughs> tech always makes a great gift right. for anyone on your list. And RCA has great electronics at affordable prices. The all new RCA 15 inch slim laptop features an Intel Pentium processor, Windows 11, and a one year subscription to Microsoft 365 Personal. The RCA 8 inch Android tablet bundle has a folio case and earbuds. And if you want something bigger, the RCA 10 inch Android tablet bundle includes a Bluetooth keyboard and headphones as well. Now, both tablets are equipped with an IPS HD display for crystal clear viewing ideal for gaming and streaming content and with 64 gigabytes of storage and a speedy quad core processor it will make multitasking a breeze now if you want to see all the specs on the laptop and tablets visit rca.com and to purchase any of those devices you can head to hsn.com now everett i okay. have one that is going to blow your mind are you ready to go to the future okay let's do it I'm ready. all right how about getting a big screen viewing experience through your glasses? The Enreal Air augmented reality oh, wow. glasses are getting a ton of buzz on YouTube right now because they're lightweight and portable with a fashion forward sunglasses inspired design and wearing them allows you to carry around a 201 inch HD screen that's ready anywhere and anytime without wrecking your budget. You can find them on Amazon and they're compatible with PC, Android, iOS, and even Mac devices with an M1 chip, as well as game consoles, such as Nintendo Switch, PS5, Xbox, cloud gaming, and more via the Unreal adapter. So that's one that I feel like would be, you would be the unique gift giver this year if you go with some augmented reality glasses. Have you ever tried a pair yourself? They're super cool. Well, I tell you. I tell you what, what all these ideas you gave me, I'm I'm in heaven. So, and then Trisha, any last minute things you want to say? And then where do we go for all the information to different brands? Yeah. So for more information and gift ideas, you can visit dailylounge.com. Thank you so much for having me today. Dailylounge.com, where you want to go. Trisha Herzberger, thank you for doing the show. Appreciate you. Thank you. More guests coming your way. Don't touch that dial. I'll be back in a moment. Hey, Audrey, uh, thank you so much for doing the show. Well, folks, uh, we know the holiday season is upon us, and we might have some things more close to our fingertips as uh, possible. I tell you, we've got to find out, though. Uh, Audrey McCullough, has, who's the founder of Mom's Generation, has got the best gift ideas for us, whether we're entertaining or uh, try, you know, coming up with that great giving idea or even food. So, Audrey, I'm going to let you just take it away. Thanks so much, Everett. Happy holidays. You know, that's right. They, you know, they are upon us. And BJ's Wholesale Club is your one-stop shop for the holidays. Everything you need from seasonal decor to apparel, the hottest toys, fresh foods, they have it all. But this is what I love about shopping at BJ's for the holidays is that you have the convenience but also that value that so many of us are looking for just to make sure we're not as stressed during the holidays. And I love that about them. But for the convenience, you know, I love that with members, they can shop in a club, online, they could do 
they could pick up in club, they could do curbside pickup, same day delivery of your groceries, which I personally love. You could just put your whole order in and then have all your groceries delivered to your front door in as little as two hours, which is so great, especially when we're prepping for the holidays. They also have to express pay. So right through the BJ's app, you can scan items as you go when you're shopping in club and you can just bypass the checkout line and pay right through the app. So I love that convenience factor. And then during the holidays, I love this piece too. They have this all year, but it's so great during the holidays. It's the buy now, pay later payment option. And you can do this on purchases over $99. So again, just a flexible and convenient way to shop. But it's that value too that so many of us are looking for during the holidays. You know, you can save up to 25% off grocery store prices when you're shopping at BJ's. And they also have two exclusive brands, Wellesley Farms and Berkeley Jensen, which you're getting tremendous value and you're never skimping on the quality. So again, those two pieces, especially for the holidays, are so key. And then what else do you have for us, Ari? Yeah, so, you know, I know that so many of us are wondering right now, you know, what are some great gifts? What are items that I can get at BJ's for the holidays? And with the seasonal decor, they have everything from Christmas trees to garlands, shatterproof ornaments, wreaths, inflatables. I love everything that they have to make your home look so festive and just in that holiday spirit. They have the hottest toys. They have their exclusive top 10 toys. They also have a new line of Berkeley Jensen toys, which are very exciting. But right now, too, some of the hottest toys are plush stuffed animals, arts and craft themed items, um, any kind of indoor play. Definitely check that out either online at BJ's.com or head into any BJ's Wholesale Club near you to see some of the toys. Uh, small appliances are always a great gift item too, especially when you're looking to make a, a splash for somebody special on your list. Uh, they have apparel, so matching pajamas for the family, uh, some fun Christmas sweaters. So all of those items, again, right at BJ's.com or when you walk right into the clubs. And fresh foods from the appetizers to the main dishes, desserts, and even spirits everything right there in one stop as well we can go and become members as well correct yes absolutely bj's.com or any bj's wholesale club near you i want to thank again my special guest arjun mccullough uh founder of mom's generation thanks so much happy holidays Arjun. happy holidays to you everett okay bye-bye <laughs>